John is living in a world where there is an enormous hierarchy. Mm-hmm. And not only just in the Roman world, but in the Jewish world too. You know, the high priest is up here and in the Roman world, we've got Caesar. And um, supposedly at the time, an average middle-class family had eight servants or slaves. And the word servant and slave is the same word in Greek. You know how they had their education system as the master teacher and then the disciples. So Aristotle or Gamaliel or whichever group you want to talk about. Um, If you were a student and you wanted more time with the master teacher, you would do the work of a slave. You would come and you would help him get his toga on. You would help him eat. You put in all this extra time just to spend time with the professor. Mm -hmm. And a disciple was allowed to do that for a master teacher until it came down to foot care. And they had a law that a disciple was not allowed to do the foot care because it was too filthy, too gross, too terrible. And that was only for the slave child to be brought in and do the foot care. But John saying we need to be his servants is the man who is sitting at the Last Supper who had the Savior wash his feet. These words of being a servant meant so much more to John than they mean to me. When I think of being a servant of God, I think, yeah, he's invited me to join him. No, I have been baptized. I have put on his name. You know, I am a disciple of Christ and I have committed to serve him. 